What is going on guys, welcome back. In this video today, we're going to learn how to take the style from one image and transfer it to the content of another image. So how can we take the content of one image, keep the content, but add the style or change the style to fit another image in Python or specifically in TensorFlow. So let us get right into it. All right, so we're going to learn how to do neural style transfer in Python or specifically in TensorFlow today. So what this means is we're going to have a content image like this here, this is just the image of a dog. And what we're going to do is we're going to apply a certain style to this image. So we're going to keep the content of the dog, but we're going to change the style of the image. For example, if I wanna take this image here as a style reference, this is a painting of Van Gogh. If I wanna take this and apply this to the content image, the result could look something like this. Um, or if I take another style reference like this one, also an image by the same artist, uh, I might end up with something like this. Or if I choose now a different artist, uh, Banksy here, uh, if I apply this to the doc image, I get this as an output. So you see the content is the same, but we have a different style applied to the image. And this is what we're going to learn how to do in this video today. Now, this video is going to be heavily inspired by a TensorFlow uh, tutorial from the documentation. I think it's the documentation, uh, which I have here in my second tab. So this is TensorFlow org tutorials. We have here neural style transfer. They also have an image of a dog. They have a different artwork and this is what they get here. So it's not going to be one on one the same, but I, yeah, uh, my, my video is heavily inspired and influenced by this tutorial. So I use this to create this video. Um, so if you wanna have a text written form of that, uh, you can click on the link in the description down below and you will find this text-based tutorial on how to do this. The basic idea is we're going to use an already pre-trained model from the TensorFlow Hub, so we're not going to define our own architecture and train it. We're going to use an already existing model, and then we're going to just provide the images, and we're going to have a style transfer. For this, we're going to install a couple of libraries here. We're going to say pip or pip3 install. We're going to need some basic stuff like numpy, matplotlib, and pillow. So NumPy to work with arrays, matplotlib to display stuff, pillow to work with images, and of course also TensorFlow and TensorFlow-Hub. So these are the packages or libraries we wanna install here. And then we're going to import the following things. We're going to import OS from Core Python. We're going to import time from Core Python. We're going to import func tools uh, from Core Python. Even though I'm not sure, do we need func tools? Let's see, maybe we don't need it. Uh, we're going to import pill.image, which is pillow. We're going to import numpy snp. We're going to import matplotlib.pyplot splt. And we're going to import tensorflow stf and tensorflow hub as hub. Now I'm going to get quite a few, no, actually, I don't get warnings, this is surprising. Maybe because I already ran the cell uh, a second ago here. But these are the imports now. And what we're going to do is we're going to define two functions. One function is going to take a tensor and is going to turn it into an image, so into a pillow image. And the other one is going to load an image from a path. So we get a file path, we load an image, um, we scale it, we, we resize it basically to fit a certain, um, a certain resolution. And then we use that image to, to do our processing, to do our prediction. So we're going to start with the first function here, which is called tensor to image. What we're going to do in this function is we're going to pass a tensor and this tensor um, is already normalized. So we already have values between zero and one, but to have an image, we need RGB values between zero and 255. So maybe you notice, know this in TensorFlow, when you load a data set, you oftentimes divide it by 255 uh, to normalize it. And here now we do the opposite. So we get the tensor and we say that the tensor um, is just an NP array. And we say it's just a tensor times 255. And the D type here, we want to have integers, not floats. We're going to say this is just uh, NP unsigned integer eight. So that is now our tensor. And then what we want to do is we want to say if we have uh, more than three dimensions. So basically, if we have these dimensions or this, these sizes of one, uh, we want to just get um, 
and just want to get one image. So if it's a batch, basically, if you have this extra dimension around it, we want to remove it. So what we do is we say, if np and dim of the tensor is larger than three, if that's the case, just uh, say that the tensor is the first element of that package. Um, and then we're going to get our three RGB channels. So it's going to be red, green, blue, three channels. Otherwise, if that's not the case, uh, we're going to raise an exception, because that's not a valid format then. And in the end, we want to just return um, pillow image from array. And then we're going to pass the tensor here. So that is going to allow us to take a tensor and turn it into an image that we can then display. And to load an image now, we're just going to provide a file path, we're going to have our load image function, which is going to take an image path. And this image path, what we're going to do is we're going to define a max resolution. So let's say, for example, we want to have a maximum of 512 pixels. What we do is we say the image is going to be the result of reading a file. So we're going to say TFIO, this is now the TensorFlow backend, this is not Keras, this is TensorFlow. Um, TFIO read file image path. So we load the file. The second step is to decode the image to say, okay, image is equal to TF image decode image. Um, and we specify that we're expecting three channels RGB. And then we're going to say image equals TF image convert image D type, we're going to convert the image to uh, TensorFlow float 32. All right. So this is now the image object. Now what we want to do is with the max resolution, we want to resize the image if it's too large, so that it fits a certain uh, shape. So we're going to say here the shape of the image is TF cast. Uh, actually, sorry, yeah, TF cast is correct. The shape is TF cast and then TF shape of the image um, of the uh, of everything except the col uh, color channel. So everything except the last thing. Um, we're going to get the shape of this image. And we're going to then say that we also want to have this as float 32. And now we want to decide, okay, what's the longer side of this shape. So we have the height and the width, what's longer, and then we want to make sure that this longer thing has a maximum size of max resolution, which is 512. So we say that the long side of our shape. Well, what did happen just now? I have some keyboard issues here, I think I have to get another keyboard. Uh, long side is going to be equal to the max shape. And this is going to determine our scaling factor. So we're going to say scaling factor is going to be equal to the max resolution divided by the long side. So how much do I need to um, scale this either up or down to get to this max resolution. And then I'm going to say that my new shape here is going to be equal to TF cast, and I'm going to use shape times scaling factor, TF float 32 here again. And then I'm going to say the image is going to be TF image resized. So we're going to resize the image to the new shape. And now we're going to then also say that we want to add an axis around it. So we want to package it, more or less, we're going to say image, and then TF new axis, which is similar to the NumPy new axis, or actually the same, uh, and what we already have, and then we're going to just return this image, this is important for the dimensionality, we need to have a certain shape and a certain format for our model. But these are the two functions that we're going to use here. Now, if we want to take a look at the images, we can display them. This is also what they do in the tutorial here, we don't have to do that. Uh, you can also just look at the images themselves. So we're going to again, use this content image here. Um, and we're going to use first of all, this image here in order to get this image. Now I'm not sure if it's going to always be exactly the same or if there's some randomness in there, I assume there's some randomness. So it's probably going to look uh, slightly different. But in order to do any of that, we're going to need a model. So we're going to say the model is equal to hub load. And we need to specify the URL to the model, I'm going to copy paste this now. This is the model that we're going to use here. Um, 
actually I have now all the quotations as well. So it's uh, TF hub, def, Google, magenta, arbitrary image si stylization, v1 256 slash two. So that's the URL that we're using here for the model, I think you also can just copy paste it here from the from the guide. So that's exactly what I use here. And with this model, now we're going to create the stylized image. So I'm going to say here, um, stylized image is equal to and now we're going to apply the model onto the following TF constant. And we're going to load the image here. So load image. Uh, content image, we're going to pass that as a constant. Um, and we're going to pass load image, and then a style reference image. So style reference image one, as a constant, uh, size must be a 1d. Oh, sorry, we need to or actually no, this is not a problem. Let me just see what's the problem here load image, load image, gf constant. Did I mess up something with the resizing? Let me see. Uh, resize new shape, this should be fine. New shape equals cast shape scaling fact. Oh, this is actually in 32, I think. Not sure if that's the issue, but that should be the case. Okay, so it did something. And this something is now stored in stylized image. So how can I display that I can just say tensor to image stylized image because what I get is obviously a tensor containing the information. So in order to display it, I have to just cannot handle this data type. What's the problem here again? Sorry, again, this is package, we need to say, give me the results. So just index zero from this output. And now I get the image. This is now my doc in or it's not my doc, unfortunately. Uh, but it's the doc in uh, Van Gogh style, I can also change this to be a different image. So I can use the other Van Gogh image, which is now this. And then we can also use the Banksy image and you can use any image you like to transfer the style, but then you're going to get this same image, you can always recognize the doc, but with a different style. And this is how you can do basic neural style transfer. This is easy with a model that you can just load, we didn't really build our own model, we just pre processed uh, and post processed the images, but that is also what is done here. So if you want to check this out, there's also a more detailed section down here, uh, where you can customize certain things um, to to a larger extent, but that's the basic way in, in which you can do that. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.